All right, so if I haven't set anything on fire in a while, I think it's about time we do that. All right, so we're going back to the old fire starter series. I think this is like number six or something. I'm not sure, I'll have to check the number, but we're gonna start a fire today. Honestly, this should be pretty simple. We're gonna mix some table sugar and some potassium chlorate. And then we're gonna drop on some sulfuric acid. Now, supposedly, this will actually create a fire. And the idea behind what happens here is the sulfuric acid will dehydrate the sugar, which produces a lot of energy in the process. That energy then is used to ignite the potassium chlorate, which reacts with the sugar and creates a pretty spectacular flame. Now, you'll remember something along those lines from the Easter Peeps destruction video. If you haven't seen that, uh, make sure you go check that one out. <laughs> Holy cow! Holy crap! Wow! Anyway, once the reaction takes off, we should have a fire. Honestly, I thought it would do better than that. I thought we could actually start a fire using sugar, potassium chlorate, and sulfuric acid. Now the problem was my sulfuric acid wasn't concentrated. It was about six molar, so maybe a third strength. So honestly, I threw a piece of potassium in there for fun, as it were. Hence the nice little explosion.
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I cheated just a little bit by throwing out a piece of potassium, but you know, I got kind of tired of waiting, so that just helps speed the process up a little bit is all. You can still see the potassium chlorate and the sugar reacting very well together, producing quite an enormous amount of energy. Plenty to get a nice little fire started. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down there. Don't forget to subscribe. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.